Tech717 here, doing a review on a 5 Vega cask strength. If you're any kind of a connoisseur of whiskey or something, that probably means something to you. I have smoked one of these cigars before as preparation for this video. I'm very excited to smoke it this evening. Let's go ahead and check it out here. Beautiful little foot wrapper here. It is a very light box press. It has a Nicaraguan Corojo wrapper. Fillers that are apparently exclusively Ligero from Nicaragua and Honduras. Beautiful looking wrapper. Kind of a medium Maduro. Let's go ahead and cut it. Kind of a sweet caramely pre-light draw. A very sweet, pungent aroma. The label wants to fall right off. Alright, let's get lit. Very full body first impression. Kind of a rich espresso flavor. Still kind of sweet, not too surprised. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of espresso, and a hint of something else that I can't quite place yet. All right, we'll smoke it down and check in with you in a bit. About 20 minutes in. I think that flavor that I couldn't identify was something of like a toasted pecan. Maybe a little bit of nuttiness going on in there. Extremely enjoyable so far, as I expected it would be. Not super complicated yet, very rich flavor. The toasted nut, possibly a little bit of oakiness coming on here, all with a touch of spice. Just a touch, not overwhelming. Everything seems to be really well balanced. It's a very rich and deep flavor. Not a perfect burn, even though. Ash looks like it's going to hold together quite well. Still probably a medium to full. A little bit of a kick already, so it's going to probably be a pretty strong cigar. That's about all I got for you so far. Smoke it down to the halfway point and check in with you again. We are in about 45 minutes. flavors are incredibly smooth at this point. Kind of creamy feel to them. Nuttiness. Almost a kind of creamy flavor even. And a little while ago there was a very distinct cedar flavor. Kind of changed from the oak flavor that I noted earlier into an extremely, extremely distinct cedar flavor. But it was pretty quick. It was, it was there and Kind of gone, kind of odd, but so far extremely enjoyable. Still medium to full body, edging on the full side. Decent burn. Uh, the first ash held together at about an inch and a half, nice and tight. Fell on my lap, of course. I wasn't paying attention. It happens every time I smoke a cigar. About beautiful smoke coming out of this thing. Not much else to tell. We'll check in with you again in a little while. All right, guys, we're about an hour and a quarter into this thing to this point. Final thoughts here. Excellent cigar. Very happy with it. The final third had some amping up of the cedar flavors that I mentioned before, along with a lot of the other flavors that were there initially. Uh, the pecan nuttiness, very toasty flavor there. The creaminess remained. Still lots of white, creamy, puffy smoke all the way through. Very happy with that. The body really kind of ramped up in the final third. Very strong, good bit of a kick to it. Definitely not an everyday sort of cigar, walking around, that kind of thing. Good evening, relaxing cigar. Paired well with a uh, glass of whiskey. A good, strong performance out of the Five Vega cask strength. The, the Ligero leaves really put on a good, strong performance with the flavor and the body in that thing. Excellent cigar. Highly recommend it. I'll post the link in the comments like I usually do so you guys can go ahead and check it out for yourself. And again, happy smoking.